Chad Gable now looking to put the finishing touches on this match. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What in the world? It is all about the Raw Tag Team titles and WrestleMania. Super kick wipes out oh. Otis. Super kick wipes out Otis. A second by Rollins. The big man is rocked. And Seth freaking Rollins and Kevin Owen working together. This has been a familiar scene, gentlemen. Rollins and Owens with Chad Gable isolated. This is what Gable fell victim to last week. The stunner. Oh, there it is. Went for the boot. Something rolled out of the way. Want to play possum? Maybe I don't know. Got out of the way. Matt Hardy crashed and burned. Look at Randy Orton slithering. Oh, watch, like out, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Francis decided to determine how effective victims are at fighting the family. Uh, die, you piece of shit! Which includes how long the family is stunned after a backstab or how effective victims will be at close encounters. It also affects how quickly victims can turn off the generator, how long they take barging doors, and how quickly they break free from the restraints at the start of the game. In the description of strength, it states that it also affects how quickly you open crawl spaces. This is false. All victims, regardless of strength, open them in 5 taps. Sneak attack stuns are affected by how much strength you have. At 25, a sneak attack will stun for 6.5 seconds. Every point over and under 25 will add or subtract 0.065 seconds. At 15, family members are stunned for 5.85 seconds and 8.1 seconds with 50 strength. Fuse Fight adds a flat 5 seconds to these stuns. Grandpa is also affected by this. At 25 strength, he is incapacitated for 30 seconds. Similarly to regular stuns, it is increased and decreased by 0.05 seconds per point of strength. Close encounters are interesting because strength doesn't actually affect the stun duration for family. They all have a specific animation that lasts a set amount of time. Only choose fight increases the stun duration. These are the stun times for each family member after they lose a close encounter. It's also important to note that door slam stuns are not affected by strength, and stun for 8 seconds. Letter face and hands are stunned for 2.5. Back door increases the stun time. Bursting out of the hiding place stun the family for a flat 5 seconds. This also isn't affected by strength. Now for the meat of the video. How do grapples work after the rework? What did they change? Surprisingly, my old video is still relevant. Grapples work the same for victims, depending on the strength stat, it will increase the starting value of the minigame. The only correction is that the points per tap are more akin to 3.5 than 3. This value gets lowered the less HP they have. Grappler also works a bit different than I thought. It's not based on the current value, but rather just adds a flat value to your taps. Currently, it seems to add 1.5 points. At 100% HP, Victims need 23 taps to win a grapple, with 15 strength, 16 with 50, and 12 with 50 strength plus grappler. This is where the grapple rework comes into play, which isn't really a rework, it's more so a buff to family. Before, all family members started at zero, meaning they, they needed 36 taps to win a grapple. Now, every family member starts with a portion of the bar filled similarly to victims. This is a flat buff to all family members. Even Sissy, who has the lowest value, needs only 30 taps to win, 6 less than before. These are the starting values of all family members. Meaning that grapples are way more high risk as you need higher strength and be healthy to consistently win them against stronger family members. In the case of hands, only a Leland with a grappler can grapple him safely until 30% HP. Here is a chart showing the safety ranges against each family member, assuming everyone tapped perfectly. Suffocating Grip became one of the best grandpa perks as it makes grappling impossible. The values are also not correct currently. It actually increases family grapple by 36%, making them do 4.1 per tap. I've said that if everyone taps perfectly, what does that mean? One of the changes they did was add a 4.5 tap limit to grapples. This means that the mashing minigame is effectively dead. 
In order to win consistently, you have to time your taps to a rhythm. Imagine this is a second. You're only allowed to tap four times in it, with a little leeway. Any extra inputs will not count. This is why mashing is bad now, as it makes you miss inputs, and if the family member is doing it right, you will lose. You can tell if your input counts when the button flashes yellow. You need to practice a rhythm. This also made grappling take longer, turning it into a more situational and risky thing to do. It's also better in a way since you are technically holding someone down for longer. My tip will be aim for sneak attacks and have more of a patient's playstyle. You can also have someone hold a family member down while a second victim backstabs them. That way, there's no risk involved, but you need two people with two bone scraps to do this. Teamwork will be needed more for victims with this rework. Grapple became better, so consider using it too.